When it comes to designing your products, whether it's for your cloning brand, print on demand store, or even your business assets, I've realized you guys are just going about it and doing things that you are doing properly and I've never really broken it down to the very basics. So here are some things that you're going to need to change settings wise so that you have the best design assets possible whether it's for printing or it's for the web. So first things first I am on Kittle. They have awesome dope assets on here. It does not matter what you're creating. You could be creating a mug, hat, bag, poster, t-shirt or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a mug design. So before you even really get started there's one thing that you want to do is make sure if you're creating Creating a product for a mug is that you want to make sure it's in the right dimensions so that whenever you are getting it printed you won't lose any quality whatsoever and there's also a few other settings that you're going to want to make sure when it comes to exporting it so here we have a mug I am going to be using printify.com if you don't know what that is by now they print and ship your products to your customer for you but let me go ahead and click on the mug this is why it is important you need to be on the same page as your print provider or even if you're printing yourself you need to know which dimensions that you need to set your document to. So if I click start designing right here, on the left side, you will see 2700 by 1120. And a lot of times on Printify, they also have templates like this right here. So we can actually download this and use it as a template as well. So I'm gonna download it. And on top of that, I'm gonna take these dimensions right here and take this on over to Kittle. So 2700 by 1120. So here I am on Kittle. What I want to do now is click this right here. And here we have our actual dimensions, 2700, 1120. Now we're going to drag and select all of my assets and I'm going to resize that down. But here's the difficult thing right here when I am on Kittle. I really don't know where my margins is. I don't know how the print is going to look. So that's why it's important that you actually download that template that we just downloaded. Because once we go on over to our mug right here, as you can see, this right here is the middle of the mug. This right here is one other side of the mug. This right here is the other side of the mug. So basically we want two of them right here, one right here and one right here. So that way we have one on the front side the mug and the back side of the mug or I don't know which one's front or back but pretty much you want the print on both sides of the mug so that's number one dimensions you want to make sure your dimensions is exactly how it's supposed to be when it comes to getting printed and not only for printed products itself but imagine let's click on this one right here if we're doing a Facebook ad you want to make sure this is in the right dimensions as well so let's say if we're gonna be running an ad on Instagram we want to make sure it's the exact size that it's supposed to be so you can head on over to Google and type in Instagram ad dimensions all right so so here it says 1080 by 1080. This is the minimum, but the aspect we really want is at 916. So we have that true vertical look to it. So I'm actually going to click on images and there's a lot of other templates that's on here as well. I'm going to do the 1920 by 1080, just pretty much because a phone is set up just like how like movies are. So that's 1080 like HD, right? 1920 by 1080. So we'll come back on over here. As you can see, this almost looks like it's 1920 by 1080, but I can tell you that it looks like it's not. So I'm going to click on this right here. So I'm going to do 1080 and on this side, I'm going to do 1920 and now check it out we have all this unused space that we could really take advantage of honestly though this design kind of has too much going on for me sometimes less is more so what we can do is take this on down here actually it doesn't look that bad it was just probably because we need to resize it so there you go that's number one dimensions make sure it's the proper dimensions that you need it to be because yes you can have the file create the design and then at the end change it around but it's a lot easier to go ahead and design it in the correct dimensions that you're supposed to all right so there is one problem when it comes to downloading the files it comes in photoshop or illustrator files and it is not accepted when i try to upload it to kittle so what you would have to do is go over to photoshop and save it as a jpeg or a png or here's solution number two which may be a whole lot easier for you you can come on over here and this is not going to be perfect unless you pretty much screenshot it as perfectly as possible pretty much screenshot this right here so i'm going to take that and i'm going to come on over to kittle and i'm just going to paste it right here now all i'm going to do is resize it and check that out so there's two things i can do i can remove the background so it only shows me the black dots i can vectorize it so i can have change in the colors or i can just lower the opacity right here uh, actually i think i'm gonna remove the background all right cool so i can raise my opacity back up and now check it out i pretty much have a guideline it's not gonna be extremely perfect but it is gonna help so it's not always in the way what i'm going to do for now is lock it and then now when i click and drag things 
it's not in the interference but if i don't do that watch what happens so now it's unlocked now when i try to just move these elements around now i'm moving everything around so you want to make sure you lock it but when it comes to exporting and saving the file make sure you actually get rid of the image so i'm gonna lock it for now and then now as you can see i have this guy right here i can align him right here a whole lot easier i'm gonna copy and paste now i have the one for the other side right here and now when it comes to exporting i'm about to hop into number two the second setting that you should be looking out for so that you have the best print possible which is going to be an export setting so before i export what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the little eyeball so we can remove our guideline right and now when it comes to clicking download we want to download this in a pdf or a svg because those are vector based files however a lot of times png and jpeg you can get away with it because you're making it in the proper dimensions to begin with but that is a raster image in comparison to a pdf or a svg is going to be vector vector meaning the image is infinitely scalable without losing the quality as you can see i scaled this up still have my quality looking a1 but if you do that to a jpeg image you will actually lose that quality i'm going to take this image of myself this is a jpeg as a raster image and if i scale it up it's kind of hard to tell but you lose quality so that's pretty much number two right there when you export really think about that file type that you are exporting as and use vector based file types whenever it is possible for you to be able to use those types of files now on to number three which is really 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 important as well we're going to be talking about dpi which is dots per inch so 72 dpi is going to work if you are going to be saving and using this image on the web meaning if you're posting an image online or just anything on the web but when it comes to print this is going to be a physical product you have to turn it into 300 dpi all right so that's two things right there you have to consider your file type and your dpi so this right here is 300 dpi because we're going to be putting it on a coffee mug and this one right here if we're just using this on the web when we download this one right here we're just going to download it as 72 dpi and since this has a raster image involved which is this right here this is not a vector based image this can be downloaded as a png or jpeg absolutely fine and now here's another tip for you when it comes to print so you have to think about your color as well your background color because the thing is although this background color looks really nice that's going to be a square when it comes to getting printed on this mug because the actual mug is going to be white and you're going to be printing the design on white and you're going to be having a square tan or a rectangle tan color and you're going to still see the white as well so whenever you export this you want to make sure you also remove the background so now this file is ready to go i'm going to click download svg file type 300 dpi I'm gonna click remove background and I'm gonna optimize the quality. I'm gonna click download. Now this is ready for Printify. I'm gonna upload this design by clicking my device. And boom, there we have it. And look at that. We have our margins looking fairly nice. Let's go ahead and make sure, yep, we removed the margins on here. So we looking good right here. We're looking pretty good right here. <laughs> looking good. Yes. So those are some things to keep in mind when it comes to creating the best setting possible when it comes to actually exporting your design. So let me show you another little secret that a lot of people don't take advantage of, which is this create pattern tool. So let's go ahead and head back on over to Kittle. I'm gonna delete this right here. And this is why this setting is important because let's say if we're dealing with a raster image, we want to make sure we're getting the best quality possible, even if it is a raster image. So you wanna start off in the dimensions that you're going to be exporting at. So I'm gonna use this image right here. So I saw kittle has a new tool right here eraser tool freaking awesome all right they should have came out with this a long time ago i wonder if you can actually use this on elements as well so we have the banner right here let me see no eraser tool nope don't think so all right so i guess it only works with raster images let me do the ai background remover first okay cool perfect that's awesome because without the tool in the beginning you would just have to deal with this and then you can't delete what you want so now i'm gonna delete everything else okay so i'm not really gonna perfect this at the moment i just want to show you guys this cool little secret so we use the new eraser tool which is awesome but now i'm gonna exit the eraser mode all right so cool now i have this right here but the canvas is too large for me but i have an idea of what it's gonna look like on the mug the size that i need it to be on the mug so now what i'm going to do is just click on artboard create another artboard that's pretty much similar to the size of my face there it is i'm gonna drag my face on over here let's name this 
artboard rich let's remove the background and now i'm going to click download this is png raster fine download now i'm going to upload myself on over to printify check it out here i am now i'm about to do something pretty cool i'm going to click on create pattern and this is actually a really popular thing that you can do with personalized products and actually works fairly well when it comes to selling all marketplaces all right so cool there we are right there we want to kind of space it like this so some people might leave it like this but you know i like to have that offset that way it's not perfectly aligned we're gonna give it a little bit more space maybe about here and then you could actually just click this right here brick horizontal brick vertical and that actually helps out a lot too but i need even more but it's not perfect for me i need well, i guess about right there is cool all right cool so we have that and i actually like to rotate it slightly probably about let's do about 25 actually i like to go the other way i'm kind of already tilted so that's what i'm kind of struggling with but that pretty much works so once you export pretty much sell it on etsy or amazon wherever you may want to sell this as as a personalized product so let me know if this video helps you out those are some settings that you need to be aware of and if you're not doing it properly you need to change so that you have the best exported designs possible